Hey friends, my name is Becca and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time with us, I'm so glad that you are here. We focus on all things middle grade literature, specifically the first chapters of your favorite middle grade novels. Today we're in for a treat because we are going to be reading the first 10 pages. This is a novel in verse, so it doesn't quite work in traditional chapters. We're gonna read the first 10 pages of The One and Only Family by Katherine Applegate. Now, if you read The One and Only Ivan, this is actually the sequel to one, The One and Only Ivan. Um, and Catherine Applegate has so many wonderful novels. She also has The One and Only Bob, The One and Only Ruby, so many fantastic novels that all middle graders love. And I'm super excited to share a little bit of this one with you. We're gonna start off by reading the excerpt on the front inside cover. When time tells a story, Surprises are the one thing you can count on. Ivan is the resident silverback gorilla in a wildlife sanctuary with his friend Ruby next door in the elephant enclosure, frequent visits from his canine friend Bob and his mate Kenyani by his side. Ivan has also just become a dad to twins. Even though it can be hard sometimes, Ivan loves being a papa. But as he navigates the joys and challenges of parenthood, he can't help but recall his life before the glass walls of the mall circus, his own childhood in the jungle, and his own twin. Catherine Applegate returns to the world of her award-winning and best-selling one and only series for one last unforgettable adventure with the world's favorite silverback. All right, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. Um, on the first few pages, there is some really great information, a little bit of like nonfiction, nonfiction information um, that gives you a little bit of a glossary, tells you a little bit about some of the important terms that you might be reading in the book in regards to gorillas. Okay, one, the wait. Hello, I am Ivan. I'm about to become a dad. I hope it's as easy as it looks. A dad is a dad is a dad. When you get right down to it, how much trouble could a newborn be, really? I mean, they can't talk, they can't run, they just lie there all day, grinny and gassy and drooly. That said, to be perfectly honest, two-year-olds do worry me just a little. In my line of work, I get to observe many different creatures. I have a particular interest in gorillas and humans. And I can tell you this with absolute certainty. When it comes to parenting, everyone's in the same boat. Whatever your species, there's no force of nature more terrifying than a toddler's tantrum. Confident. Still, I'm confident I can manage a youngster. You just have to be consistent. Apply reason. Set boundaries. If I declare that no tantrums are allowed, then no tantrums are allowed. Easy peasy, as my young elephant friend Ruby likes to say where to find me. You may have noticed that I am a gorilla. Western lowland, in case you're curious. I'm the resident silverback here at Wild World Zoological Park and Sanctuary. Around here, we just call it the park. My address is Sunniest Spot Outdoor Habitat Gorilla World. I'm located just down the path from Elephant Odyssey and around the corner from Reptileville. If you pass the gift shop, you've gone too far. Never. There was a time when I never dreamed I'd grow up to be a father. There was a time when I never dreamed I'd grow up to be a silverback. There was a time, I suppose, when I never dreamed I'd grow up at all. But the years passed and here I am. When time tells a story, Surprises are the one thing you can count on. Old names, new names. 
I used to be Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Soon, I will be dad. Big Daddy, my dear canine pal Bob, has started calling me. And in his voice, I hear gentle teasing and the same wonderment that I feel. We've come a long way, Bob and I, a very long way. It's a long story. Bob and I met when he was a stray puppy and I was the main attraction at a shabby circus housed in a rundown mall. The Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, it was called. Conveniently located off I-95 with shows at 2, 4, and 7, 365 days a year. We try not to think about that time too much. Our lives are good. We are both loved. That's all that matters. Unprepared. I had been caged at the mall for over a decade when the silver hair on my back appeared. It was a shimmering signal from my body unbidden. It shouted that I was ready to care for others, to lead a troop, to take on the world, to become, you might say, my father. My hair and my heart we're not entirely in agreement, however. Like chin whiskers sprouting on a teen male of humans, that particular mark of maturity was a bit mm, premature. As I grew, I failed and I learned. I got lost and found my way. I tried to believe in myself. And on the days when I couldn't, I had friends who believed in me. And oh my, such friends. Wise, gentle Stella, an old circus elephant who'd been born in the wild. Ruby, a sweet baby elephant snatched from Africa and shipped overseas, just like my sister and me. Julia, a kind-hearted girl who understood our plight. And, of course, the one and only Bob who slipped into my cage one night and decided that my tummy would make the perfect dog bed. I have never been happier to hear complaints about my snoring. All right, I'm gonna stop there. That was the first 10 pages of The One and Only Family. I cannot wait to see how Ivan does as a dad. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this first chapter Friday Read Aloud, please consider liking and subscribing so you can be notified every time there is a new Read Aloud available. And until next time, everyone, happy reading.